A lot of times when you're working with Kimuros, you end up sweeping people. Sometimes you might end up in the mount. And a lot of people have trouble finishing a Kimura from mount and they'll just let go of it. Or then maybe they'll move to side control to try to finish it. But you can actually finish the Kimura from mount and it gives you a really strong position. All right, so the way it's gonna look like, this one. I have Kimura on here. Now, if I try to finish with both my knees here, nothing really works. But coming this way, I can finish here. A lot of times she's probably gonna try to roll with me. This puts me in a very powerful position with both my legs over. It's really hard for him to defend there. Okay, so this is very simple, all right? All we gotta do, once I have this Kimura, is clear his head with my right leg, okay? And if his head's flat on the mat, you know, I might not find space to step over it. Sorry about that. So I want to crank the Kimura a little bit. Then I'll lift his head up. All right, so I lift his head up, boom. Once I have it here, now I can just start posturing up. And again, I can finish it right there, just for the pressure. Normally, they're going to try to roll into you because that's all they really got. So as they roll through, boom. Now I got both legs hooked over. And again, just like our guard Kimura, everything's the same. Okay? Both legs are pinching, and this leg being over his head is a big problem for him. Because right? it gives me more pressure over the top of his body and his shoulder. You have to finish. You might encounter this situation this way, where he rolls through again. It's going to be easy on that Kimura, but I can still crank him here. And you can just follow him through on that roll. You should normally have the advantage there because you have so much leverage over the top, right? So I can mount. So a little smaller speed. Roll through. 